We're gathered here today just in the sight of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, in the sight of each other as witnesses of a loving community to celebrate the marriage of Scott and Lauren. We hold these two up to the Lord in fellowship of loved ones to bless them as these two become one in what will be a long, happy, and healthy life together. Heavenly Father, we have come here to pray your blessings upon Scott and Lauren as we ask that you walk with them together as you've walked with them each in their lives to this point. Lord, we know that you have a plan for their lives and we know that you love them. We ask that you keep them committed to you and that you keep them committed to one another as they begin this journey as one flesh in your name. Scott, do you take Lauren to be none other than herself, loving what you know about her, trusting what you do not, respecting her integrity, and have faith in your love for one another and all that life may bring? I do. Lauren, do you take Scott to be none other than himself, loving that what you know about him, trusting about what you don't, respecting his integrity, and have faith in your love for one another and all life may bring? Lauren, with this ring. Lauren, with this ring. I promise to love, honor, and cherish you. I promise to love, honor, and cherish you. And to hold you up in faith. And to hold you up in faith. Whether times are good or bad. Whether times are good or bad. Whether we're rich or poor. Whether rich or poor. And through whatever God has in store for us. And through whatever God has in store for us. As long as I live. As long as I live. You put the ring on. Shaky hands, everyone. It's okay. There you go. It's there right. it is. It's there. It's on. Lauren. There. <laughs> Lauren, please repeat after me. Scott, with this ring. Scott, with this ring. I promise to love, honor, and cherish you. I promise to love, honor, and cherish you. And to hold you up in faith. And to hold you up in faith. Whether times are good or bad. Whether times are good or bad. Whether we're rich or poor. Whether we're rich or poor. And through whatever God has in store for us. And through whatever God has in store for us. For as long as I live. For as long as I live. <laughs> Scott, Lauren, having proclaimed your love for and commitment to one another in the sight of the Lord and of these witnesses, it is my great honor and pleasure. By the power invested in me by God and by the state of Utah, I pronounce you husband and wife. Scott, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, with great honor, I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Averly.
So uh, uh, when I first met Scott, um, you know, we, we started talking about his background a little bit and so forth, and I was pretty impressed with him. So I uh, circled back to uh, just a couple months ago. Uh, my, some of my friends were asking, uh, you know, what's, what's the wedding going to be like and so forth. And I said, well, they're getting married out in Utah. It's going to be a small ceremony. And the first question everybody asks is, well, Lauren's marrying a Mormon? <laughs> and I said, no, no, it's worse. She's marrying an Air Force guy. <laughs> but we're allowed to joke amongst ourselves, uh, veterans and, and other services. But uh, and, uh, it, it, it's really, um, I'm really proud that Lauren's uh, marrying somebody that's in the Air Force. And uh, you know, really proud of what you've done so far, Scott. You're a successful woman. And then to see you embrace motherhood like you have, and it's just so, I just am so proud of you. Because <laughs> it's a lot. And to meet a man like you have with Scott, and he's your other half, and for you to support her like you do, and to love her like you do, and have her back, and be her teammate, and it's all I could have ever asked for her to have. And so thank you for being that for her. And I just love you, and I just want to welcome you into the family, and thank you for having us into yours. And we're just so happy to have you guys finally hitched. <laughs> and, you, and you've already gone through so much. They've already moved. They've gone through a move together, which we know is a hard thing for a marriage anytime you move. And gone through all your trials and trip Like, you guys have faced so much already, and I think that's a huge part of marriage. And I just like to watch that and I like to watch you guys work through that and you're just such a good team and you have amazing kids and I just love you and I'm just so proud of you. I'm so proud of you guys and I can't wait to see where you go and it's now time to write your own story. What matters is you two and those kids and you know I'm, I'm so happy my kids finally have cousins and you know we're, we're just very excited for y'all and we love you and again thank you everyone for coming out. We really appreciate it. When I fir first met that man over there, he sounded pretty suspicious. But sooner or later, I got to know him, and he is a pretty cool stud. <laughs> I'm practicing my wrestling so I can beat that man and this guy. <laughs> Welcome to the family. First of all, I want to say thank you for all coming, and I, and I really love you all, even you know that Nana's in a wheelchair. <laughs> thank you for all coming for the wedding. I love you all, and thank you. Thank you guys for coming here, and this has been a great time. Thank you. I will start with a little story, quick, quick story. Um, <laughs> When we first met, um, most of you know I was previously married and divorced, but um, when I first met Lauren, I was kind of apprehensive of, okay, what is this going into? How am I starting a family again? What's going to be great for my children? From day one that Lauren has met the kids, I couldn't ask for a better figure for the kids of caring for them, loving on them, and the kids just completely adore them. Um, from that moment on, probably three, four months in, I was like, you know what, this is it. And going from something that I didn't believe after I got divorced to where we are now, it is it is complete different book, a complete different story. Again, I, I couldn't ask for a better person, a better human being. Finding God and the religion and the relationship that we have with each other and God together um, has been nothing but incredible. And um, just a prayer ultimately so I want to say thank you to Lauren thank you to Lauren's family um, thank you to everyone for being here I'm gonna continue it by passing the mic off to Lauren so thank you <laughs> y'all have raised an amazing man and I am so grateful to both of you for just the person that he is um, and to you for the father that you are to them and to all of you for welcoming them with such open arms and we love you dearly, and I just am so thankful for each and every one of you to be here and make the effort to come and just love you all so much. So, thank you.